Hey guys, all right, it's me and Dee with Heart and Soil Farm. Rob is going to be coming up in a minute. So we are working on two little projects today. So I figured I would go ahead and pull the camera out. It does look like it's gonna rain, so we're trying to rush um, and kind of show you what we're going to be doing. So this is one of our 50 foot um, garden beds. And so at the end of the year, we get it all, you know, we take the um, woven fabric up that we've laid down um, and we cover it every year. So we're getting ready to cover this to let it sit over the winter and then um, get it ready for spring. So we figured we'd take you along and kind of show you us covering this garden bed and getting it prepped. So we'll be right back. All right, guys, here we go. We're gonna start unrolling this plastic. We are putting wood, beams, things like that on the plastic to secure it. We do not want to put any staples in this particular plastic. So we're just going to secure all the edges before this rain hits and hopefully be good to go. Alright guys, for you this won't seem like it was a very long process, but it took us a little bit. We had to gather some lumber and stuff together. What a lot of people use is uh, sandbags. We didn't have any sandbags right now. We got a lot of landscape timbers and uh, like 4x4s and 6x6s kind of laying around. We may add some sandbags a little bit later. But uh, we were trying to get on top of these weeds. <laughs> it's a little late in the season. We're not going to grow anything else in it for the season. But uh, we've got some really bad like crabgrass and other evasive weeds next year I think we're gonna hit this bed with a whole different strategy it may just end up being all a uh, row cover we'll burn holes in and set our plants in the will our, all our starts in this in the holes but uh, we're gonna let all this sit over winter kill off some of these top weeds um, in the spring we'll take it off and we'll uh, give it a good we're gonna burn it We'll burn off all the top stuff, we'll amend the soil, and broad fork it a little bit, get the amendments in, and uh, then we'll reassess it at that time, but I'm pretty sure we're probably going to go with ground cover next year. Uh, just, we really fought hard on these things. The first year didn't seem quite as bad, but this year it came on with a vengeance. I don't know if it's because we had more rain or what, but uh, we get it all covered up, and uh, let's go take a look and see how we're doing on the, on the greenhouse. Let's go. Startle you? Sorry. I know you're bathing. I'll let you get back to it. 
All right, everybody. So we're up here at the greenhouse. Um, what's the makings of the greenhouse? We got it well underway. There's not a whole lot left to do. Um, if you remember me telling you guys a while back, we got our framework actually for free from a previous landscape company that used to do a lot of shrubbery and stuff. We cleaned up their lot for them, and basically, long story short, they gave us an existing frame. So we took the frame, we got it all set. Um, it's actually, it's like an 18 foot by 30 feet. And uh, we got the supports up, we got our side walls on. I'm installing the wiggle wire track right now. Um, I got most of the track on. Um, I got to put some purlins across the top. I'm going to put three across, one down the middle and one off to each side for some more center support. And what's a purlin, just in case someone's new to this type of lifestyle and doesn't know what it is? Because I had no idea when I first started. Well, to me, it's basically like a one-inch conduit tube that's going to be drilled and fastened to the top side of the hoop. Uh, it's going to be spaced out, and it supports the framework at the top, so there's not a bunch of this swaying going on. And uh, it's going to firm up a lot more once the plastic gets on as well. But um, and then once we get the... We still got to put the wiggle wire track across the each end hoop, and then we have to get working on the end walls. So I'm also going to take the soil in here. I'm probably going to give it one good till because it's kind of lumpy in there. It's not smoothed out the way we want it to. We're probably going to do some in, uh, raised beds in here instead of doing in ground, but we may switch that up. I'm not sure. But I'm just going to try to level out the soil. We got a lot of extra poles from uh, from the from the supply the guy we got the got the greenhouse from and uh, we're probably not going to use some of these extras so we're going to clean that up till the soil out and get the plastic ordered and that'll probably be the next video you see we appreciate you guys following along with us um, if you like our content please feel free to share it uh, hit that subscribe button and also the like button and uh, there's the hit that little bell as well because uh, any new videos that come out will notify you so that's all we got for the day. Appreciate you. Have a good day.